Hello and welcome back to the Nerd Melon Show. Today's episode is all about Pokemon Fart Swirls, but before we start, I want to take a brief moment to explain why we've been off the air for so long. This channel barely had a handful of subscribers in the past, but a website that we used to run called nerdmelon.com was starting to gain some traction on the internet with a few thousand users. Very briefly, nerdmelon.com would gather sales data on comic books, video games, Pokemon cards, and Funko Pops, then provide this data to the user so they could look up values of their collectibles. Of course, this data was also very useful for YouTube content, so many of our episodes reflected data taken from the nerdmelon.com website. So for example, we would have a monthly list of top sales, uh, we would report on any very high um, record-breaking or rare sales that occurred, we also had the internet's largest and most comprehensive list of grading companies going. There was over 100 grading companies at one point, I think 160 we were up to, uh, and much, much more. But competition was fierce, and industry powerhouses like GoCollect, which runs a similar style website, had already established markets that were tough to crack. We even made the bold decision to take on GoCollect in two separate deep dives into their sales data, showing how they were missing millions and millions of dollars in their data. Uh, those videos, as well as all of our other Nerd Melon videos, are still available if you want to go back and check them out. Um, but alas, we didn't have the budget to take on the industry, and sifting through thousands of sales records every week was just too time-consuming for our small little team, so we shut the website down and took a year off to recuperate. That said, um, this is long overdue. But anybody who had signed up to the nerdmelon.com website, I want to give a sincere thank you for supporting us. But we're still collectors and we still want to make content, so we're back with another video. This one goes out to all you Pokemon perverts out there. Today we're going to talk about the mysterious Pokemon Fart Swirl. Let's take a look at the computer. First of all, a Fart Swirl is just a regular swirl, but one that got placed in, let's say, a compromising position. The swirl itself, however, is part of the holographic pattern on the back of some older cards. Swirl placement is randomized, so it may or may not show up on the card at all. It really all just depends on how the card is printed. So as an example, let's look and see how this Celebi card got its swirl. Background graphics are printed on large sheets like this one, and the swirls are randomly placed among the other elements, like the stars and the glowing orbs that you see here. Uh, the cards are then printed in layers, starting with the card graphic and the Pokemon character. So now we're getting to see a bit more of a picture of how these swirls end up in the places that they do. This first swirl landed in just the right spot to be fully visible in the background. If you had a card with this kind of swirl placement, you could probably ask for more than market value for it. In this case, however, we got a partial swirl, which can also still be valuable given the right card. But in most situations, you get something like this, where the swirl doesn't make it onto the background at all. 90% of cards will look like this. But then there are situations that place the swirl in the most damning of areas. In this case, you get the fart swirl. Oops, I chewed it. Swirl collecting is niche, but like I said before, given the right card and the right placement, you can ask for a premium on the market. So, for example, let's look at this first edition Umbreon. This one was graded 10 by PSA, and uh, if you look on the PSA census, there are only 100 of these graded at 10. This is a highly popular, highly sought after card and very rare in this condition. So the fact that this one has this beautiful tail swirl placement, it almost guarantees it's one of the only, if not the only PSA 10 with such a beautifully placed unobstructed swirl. So what we have here is a perfect storm of high demand, perfect condition, and something that sets it apart from everything else. But now look how a different swirl placement changes your perception of this card. Which one would you rather have? Let me know in the comments below. So now that we know how fart swirls are made and how they might affect the price of a card, next let's look at some funny examples I found for sale online. Here is the popular Eevee taking a dignified fart in the snow. Mime Jr. here is less couth, however, opting to lift his leg in order to let this stinker go. Ooh da lale! Pikachu is right into this one, showing a face of total enjoyment and relief. 
If a Latius farts in space, does it make a sound? Or better yet, does it make a smell? And finally, here's Blastoise blasting this wet fart, quickly defeating even the deadliest of opponents. But it's not only the Pokemon being caught in these embarrassing situations, because their human trainers are also not immune to a little flatulence once in a while, and here's where the Pokemon perverts want me to show them a Misty Fart Swirl, but unfortunately for them, I couldn't find one. I did, however, find this Professor card for sale with her professional fart. You can almost see the breeze ever so slightly lifting her coattail gently from her derriere. I think that only the most perverted of collectors would purposely seek out a card like this. Which is why I went out and bought it myself. But in all seriousness, I am a niche collector, so it makes sense that I would buy a card like this for my collection. Uh, I have a few others that I'll show you today. They're not necessarily fart swirls, but they are risque nonetheless. Um, they're kind of odd and rare things, the, the exact type of cards that I like to collect. I mentioned Misty before. Uh, these are Japanese Misty cards. And while they're perfectly fine in Japan, North America is a lot more conservative, so they're considered a little more well, risque, once again. Um, this is a, a Misty's card. Um, just, you know, you can guess why that one's uh, got some controversy. And then, of course, the famously banned in North America Misty's Tears card. Banned uh, due to her um, lack of attire. We have two more other banned cards to show you. These are um, the Grimer card where he's popping out of the sewer. And I hope I can get the eyes to focus there. There it is. Uh, so his the, the only difference between this card and the North American card is that his eyes are looking up the girl's skirt in this Japanese version. Whereas in the North American version, they switched his eyes so they're looking downwards. And then here's a Sabrina card, also banned in North America, because it looks like she's flipping the bird. And finally, um, this card is not banned. It's just one of those ones that have become famous, and you'll see in a moment. This is the uh, Mandarin Island Miss March card, famous for the excessive amount of cleavage being shown. And there's Ash... Um, staring fondly at said cleavage. Okay, so yes, these last several cards were not fart swirls and technically should not have been part of the video, but fart swirls do fall into the same niche collector market as these cards, so I consider them relevant. Plus, as part of the new show format, I want to focus more on show and tell that I did in the past, so let's wrap this show up before I start pulling out my risque video games and comic book collections too. Fart Swirls are niche, but they add a certain charm to Pokemon card collecting. Um, perhaps you've got one of your own. If so, let me know the details in the comments down below. Uh, if you like this video and you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. Every little bit helps. Otherwise, I hope to see you on the next new and stripped down version of the Nerd Melon Show. Thanks for watching.